Hello, RF explorers. If you're like me, you might want to coordinate frequencies for wireless microphone in your monitor systems using your RF Explorer. Um, if you're using freely available apps like Shure's Wireless Workbench and maybe the RF Explorer for Windows app that comes with the RF Explorer unit, uh, you might be disappointed with the resolution of the scans that you get since the RF Explorer is only limited to 112 steps in each scan band that it does. Uh, so uh, there are some commercial tools out there that get around this, probably by breaking the scan up into smaller pieces and stitching them together. Uh, but I wanted to use freely available software for this. So I decided to make this quick Python script that does just that. It breaks up your scan into smaller scans with high resolution and stitches them together into a CSV file. So first let me start by showing you what I would do beforehand with the limited resolution. On the screen you'll see I have a frequency scan. This was actually done by a Shure microphone unit and there are about 40 steps per um, each megahertz that the uh, units do. So you get this nice high resolution uh, plot on the screen. Now if you're going to use something like RF Explorer for Windows, I've set the frequency range to the same thing that my uh, microphone unit does, which in this case is 470 to 534 megahertz. Uh, let it run, do an average perhaps, export that to a CSV file, and then I would pop over into Wireless Workbench and import that file. You'll see here, oh first I should mention that um, the microphone unit is sitting in a basement right now with a really low noise floor, so that's why you're seeing such a big difference here. But if you zoom in on some of these areas, you'll notice that while the shores trace had all these nice little peaks and valleys, um, there's a, the, lower, the resolution is much lower for the RF Explorer. There's about one point for this whole area here. And that's, of course, because of its limitation to 112 uh, steps. So here's how we get around this. Um, to do this, you'll need uh, Python installed on your computer. Um, and you'll need something like a Unix-like environment. Um, you could be either on a Mac with Mac OS. Um, you could be in Linux or on Windows. A good option is to just install the Git package for Windows, which includes Git Bash which is basically the bash shell that runs on Windows. And that's what I'll be using here. So in the description, you'll find a link to the GitHub project. Once you're on this page, you can go clone or download and copy that URL. So I'm going to go into the git bash shell and type git clone, and I'm going to paste that URL. This will download the project, and you can cd into it. And you'll notice one of the files is build.sh which you'll want to run. And after about a minute or so, it should compile the app, get all the prerequisites for it, and be ready to use. And there it is. Now this uses Python virtual environments, so we'll want to activate that environment. And this can be done by doing source venv slash, now on Windows, this is scripts. On a Unix system, it would be bin, and then activate. Once you've done this, you can now to run RF Explorer Detailed Scan, which is in your path. And if I do dash dash help, you can see all the options that are available to me. Now, all of these are optional. You'll probably want to tweak a few of them for your own needs, but the only argument that you need is an output file. So what I'm going to do in this example, oh, before you start, make sure you quit anything else that's using the RF Explorer, or it won't work. So I'm going to tell it to scan with a start frequency of 470 megahertz, an end frequency of 534 megahertz. Um, and just so you know what the defaults are, you don't have to specify these if you want to use these values. The step resolution that I'm going to use is going to be 2 megahertz. And I'll explain in a minute what this does. And the number of iterations are going to be 10. We're going to be using an average aggregation and we're going to save this file as demo.csv. I'm also going to actually put the verbose flag in here somewhere so we can watch a little bit more of what it's doing. Now this will take a few minutes because of the resolution of the scan we're doing. So I might fast forward this and see you at the end. All right, now that it's done, let me walk you through what it did. 
I'll show you that help file again. Now, the command we ran obviously gave it a complete frequency range of 470 to 534 megahertz and this resolution of 2 megahertz. So what this is doing is it's basically stepping through this range 2 megahertz at a time and then running a scan on that 2 megahertz band. Um, so that'll subdivide that into 112 parts. When it's all done, it will stitch those together. Now that iterations of 10 is basically saying it will scan that 2 megahertz band 10 times and then A will average each value for each frequency. Another option is if you'd want it instead of average is the max uh, parameter. You could change that to max and what that'll do instead of averaging the values it will take the largest one. So essentially like a peak hold. Now if we go into wireless workbench and I'm going to zoom back and I'll keep it at this. I'm going to hide the original shore plot and import the one we just did which was demo.csv and you can see that there's much higher resolution, even slightly better than the Shores plot. Um, as you zoom in, I'll show the Shore one on top of it right there. So if you're savvy and you want to make a little script that you can run every time you uh, get to a venue, you can make a batch script that just runs that Python script with your parameters. Hit that, have it run through it, and place your scan in a folder somewhere where you can easily import into Wireless Workbench. So that's the script. Hopefully some of you find it useful. Any feedback is welcome. All right, thanks for watching.